Okay, so it's 2.40 a.m. November 29th, third, technically a Thursday. Uh, I just got a ticket round trip uh, to San Francisco for Friday, which is technically tomorrow, um, for the weekend. And uh, let me just tell you why I'm doing this. Okay, so here's the backstory. I've been following this charity for a year and a half. Uh, they're called Charity Water, founded by this guy named Scott Harrison. Um, super cool story, highly recommend. They've got a cool documentary, it's like 20 minutes long, tells the whole um, company story. Scott's also got this book, Thirst. Um, you should definitely read it, it's a great book. Just kidding, I haven't read it yet. Um, but I plan to before I go to this event. Anyways, I'm super inspired by the work they do bringing clean water to uh, the developing world. And so I was on Instagram like an hour and a half ago and I see Scott post a uh, an image of him setting up an event. The event's called Charity Ball and it looked super cool. So I'm in the comments and someone says, can I volunteer for this? He replies, yeah, send an email to uh, Annalise. So I send an email to Annalise asking if I can volunteer and then like half an hour later she responds and says yes. And that brings me to two minutes ago where you saw me order uh, a flight to San Francisco. So yeah I'm going to San Francisco tomorrow. to the office for a couple hours of work and then going to the airport. Complaining about this heart and now it's breaking It was beauty we were making It's 3.30 and I'm just leaving the office trying to catch the UP Express to uh, Pearson Airport. Along the way, we'll be making two short stops at Bloor and Weston stations. Mesdames et Messieurs, bienvenue à la porte du service Union Pearson Express en direction de l'aéroport international Pearson.
Okay, so just past uh, security and the border. Now I'm walking towards the gate and it's 4.30, so two hours till the flight departures. That'll give me enough time to do some work and uh, prep some stuff to work offline. Yeah. Watching a comedy show That age whiskey and hydro Good lord, what a nice conversation I'm too flawed to get anywhere safely You know I talk about you highly I'm fascinated for the time being We can laugh until the morning Or we can dance in the hallway Only one Landed at SFO. Gonna catch an Uber, go straight to the office. Daniel and Osgood, two of my co workers, are still there. So we're just gonna knock out some work and then uh, maybe get some ramen. Give all this up for a chance at it. You would have thought I'd be the man for this. But the funny thing is, we can never stay here. I don't think this thing can happen. I'm about it till it's over. I'm about it till it's over. I'm about it till it's over. What up? How's it going, man? I'm about it till it's over. That band was shh anyway We went home and left our clothes up in the living space Say, would you stay if your heart had the power? Or would you run and find another life to imitate? The Six has come to California The Six, Six Vision It's important that we make the best of short time Okay, okay uh, can I get a support too, please? Sure, two support. Yeah. Uh, I'm good with water. Okay. I'm good with water. Okay. Uh, and extra ramen. We don't do extra ramen. <laughs> <laughs> like a trailer? Like a, like a vlog. Alright, wait, I got it. I got you got it. Alright, this is uh, this is Daniel. You got Yo. anything to say? I'm happy the six has come and blessed us. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> This is Osgood. Osgood, hey, say what's, what's up? up? <laughs> Got anything hey. to say? Uh, nothing, what's up? Hey. What do you eat? Oh, this is the uh, uh, spicy ramen. This is a Michelin star restaurant. This thing, this thing good, good. What am I eating? This is something. <laughs> you can never be my one and only anyway. Say, can't a young man dream? Can't Six vision still in effect. Six view. Woo! We all live the life on the wide screen. What's the point? Yeah. Yeah, we had fun if only for the time being. But I'm about it till it's over. It is 4:30 a.m. Leaving the office now. I uh, just got an Uber. Heading to uh, the hotel which is 
not really a hotel, it's a pod room, which I've never stayed in a pod room before. So super excited to see this thing. I'm about to take this over. Interesting. So that's the door. Then you come in, and there it is. This is the pod room. Got the pillow there, got a towel there. This is kind of cool. You can adjust the reading lights, and you got all your outlets and USBs, more outlets, um, and then you got a safe box. Then we've got a mirror here, air conditioning, some ventilation up top, and just show you how big it is. <sighs> got tons of space. I'm a bad December 1st. Today's the charity ball event. I'm just walking to uh, get some pants because I brought a black suit jacket, black shirt, uh, but I didn't have black pants. I'm gonna go find that. I was going up the coast in a minivan that broke like my voice when I told you I was leaving. Pack my bag up, sick at home, never homesick down the road in my room. Plus five hitting Kanye West off the tip of Argentina. Better than drowning in gin, ain't got no sick to blame instead of my reflection. So I dreamt I packed it all like Anderson to end up where it all began. I was going up the coast in a minivan that broke like my voice when I told you I was leaving. Pack my bag up, sick. Alright, got the pants back at the pod. So I need to see if the colors match. Hopefully the black is uh, is good with my suit jacket. Um, and then I'm gonna get that ironed out. And then hopefully, if I have enough time, go for a quick run. I'm a ghost in heaven, oh, 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 hey. Never should have put a show place. Took it back at the beginning. When I knew when I was singing, yeah. I was going up the coast in a minivan that broke. Like my voice when I told you I was leaving. Packed my bag up, sick at home. Never homesick down the road. So I think I just have to do it on the bed. I don't know if that's like a total amateur move, but uh, that's all I got. is complete um, didn't turn out as bad as I thought you know turns out ironing on a bed isn't so bad after all alright all set 12.35 so I think I'm gonna do this run check out the layout jacket pants shoes um, got my shorts on so let's do this run. I don't know where I'm gonna run. Hopefully, uh, actually it'll just be in the city because I don't have too much time. Oh yeah. Also, uh, didn't bring my running shoes, so I'm gonna have to run in Allbirds. First, first run in Allbirds. <laughs> I'm gonna run 
gone too far because I haven't ran in like a month and a half. Because um, I got injured when I was in Japan uh, and then I got sick. And so I haven't been consistent. But uh, hopefully I get in like two miles. So I was just thinking of where to run to. I just remembered that I need new soles for my Allbirds. So I'm gonna run to the Allbirds store and then run back. So let's do that. <laughs> They didn't have any left. Um, it seems like they never have any souls, which is very interesting. Anyways, I'm gonna run back. It's uh, 110, so I'm gonna run and then shower and get ready. Uh, um, yeah, oh, and also, Daniel and Osgood are also coming out, um, which is awesome. So I'll see them there. Today. <laughs> at the hotel. So, run went a little longer than expected. It's 127. Gotta shower, get dressed, and be there at two. I did 1.91 miles. Great run. Shut up, hush your mouth, can't you hear you talk too loud? No, I can't hear nothing cause I got my head up in the clouds I fight up anything that I can't Not the same as when I was punched in the old days there was enough the card games okay so I'm right outside the armory and Daniel's in his Uber about five minutes away so I'm just gonna wait for him and then uh, then we'll head in together it's time the kid got free What we try and do at these events is inspire people, bring them into the story of our work around the world. So uh, what you're seeing now is just one of the people that uh, we hope to serve through tonight uh, in Ethiopia and just the everyday reality for the 663 million people who are drinking dirty water with their kids who are walking hours and hours every day. So we're, uh, we're hoping to just you know, take an issue that most people don't think about at all and get them to think about it tonight. And, and this room will be filled probably 65% with
just long-term supporters of Cherry Mark, people who have already given, many of them are actually funding the overhead side, so many of them are, are well members who are paying for the staff salaries and events and all this kind of stuff. Um, and then we give them an opportunity to give in a really pure way to the project. So we'll, we'll hopefully take people on you know, an emotional journey tonight from the problem to the solution. We hope to fund a drilling rig, a brand new drilling rig tonight. It costs about $700,000. And then we'll have this new rig, which is capable of doing another 80 some wells every year. Um, but then we'll have no money for the rig, so then we'll make that their problem and hope that they're willing to actually power their rig into the future. So, um, as you can see, a lot went into it. There's hundreds of people that have worked uh, from you know, creating the content to the guys back there in the AV booth that are just trying to put all this together the screens. The audio, the live footage is this amazing group, if you haven't heard of them. Check them out on Spotify. They uh, uh, flew in from New York City, so they're going to be giving us uh, like a four hour, one time performance. So uh, it'll, we don't think this has ever been done before, um, and what happens in this night will just be a one time event, and hopefully it results at the end with over 100,000 people getting clean water uh, in a bunch of different villages. And um, Abraham will be the first person that gets clean water, so that's the promise we made to her when we filmed her. 70 minute uh, half journey. This is what you'll see is half of the, the walk she makes. Uh, and then she makes this walk two or three times every single day to provide for her kids. So that's what it's all about. I, I know that's why you guys are here and, and willing to give up your time. So we're grateful and uh, hope for an awesome outcome tonight. So thank you for being here.
The event was just was just really well well thought out and I like I like the fact that you don't leave with anything. Usually at normal normal like galas and events like these, the guests bid for a prize a bid for uh, a, an, an object essentially like a handbag and like they put fifty thousand dollars for the handbag. Um, but charity water is so cool because you literally leave with absolutely nothing. Now I'm gonna go to bed. I'm super tired. My legs are jelly. Um, and then tomorrow, don't really have a plan. Might get brunch with, with Osgood. Um, and then uh, maybe see some cool stuff. I don't know. December 2nd, um, Sunday. Second last day before I leave. I'm gonna go for a run to start off the day. Don't know where yet. So let's uh, figure that out. I am at Chrissy Field. I have just about an hour, so I'm gonna do a quick run. Start from there and going closer to the bridge. I'm gonna drop this somewhere. Hopefully it's there when I return. I'm thinking this spot right here.
2.39 miles. I really can't go past like two and a half miles with the Allbirds. My feet start killing after that. had brunch with Oz, then we headed back, or he went to his place, I went to mine, did some work, and now I'm um, coming to the office. I'm at the office right now, but he's here as well. We're gonna just knock out some work. right now I'm waiting for my uber uh, to come pick me up and then take me to the hotel grab my luggage and then I'll go to SFO got to the office in the morning did a little work um, then Jason wanted to take me out for lunch with Sam uh, Sam's the new president of the company and then after lunch we came back and filmed the twist episode and this was super cool because I got to uh, be on the show hey everybody welcome to a special episode of this week in startups I am here with the CMO the chief marketing officer of launch presh how are you i'm um, well how are you good what is your twitter handle it's presh d kumar d kumar uh which is your last name mm -hmm. is dinesh kumar yep so it's almost like two first names in indian isn't it yeah you're sri lankan but i think dinesh and is the name of the character on silicon valley right and i believe the guy who Plays him, his name is Kumar. That's right, yeah. You didn't name yourself after that character and change your name. Uh, your this is your parents' name. Correct. Dinesh Kumar. Yeah. Uh, Presh Dinesh Kumar is with us. And I found Presh because you came to? Scale. Scale last year. Yes. And uh, you were like, hey, I need a job. And I was like, hey, I need a marketing person. And here you are. I'll link that down below. It was great meeting the team. So since the summer, we basically hired four new people, Sam being one of them. So Sam, Charles, Cody, and Grant. Yeah, just a great day. Now heading back, and I'll be in Toronto tomorrow morning, and I'll just go straight to the office, because uh, it's still a work day. Got the luggage, Uber is waiting outside. Bye, Pod Hotel. I can put it in the trunk? Okay, perfect. Oh, sorry.
in Toronto. Wow, I'm tired. But I realized I need to send my end of day report still. Toss and turn, I keep stressing my mind, mind I look for peace, but see I don't attain What I need for keeps, this silly game we play, play Now look at this Madness the magnet keeps attracting me, me I try to run, but see I'm not that fast I think I'm first, but surely finish last, last Cause made it to Union Station um, I think I'm gonna go to, well I can't go to the office because it's not open yet, but I can do some work in Union, so I'm gonna do that. The lonely stoner seems to free his mind at night, he's all alone through the day and night. The lonely loner seems to free his mind at night, at, at, at night. Walk into the office, it's uh, it's pretty cold. Not gonna lie, it's really cold. I'm not really equipped with my jacket. Right. Hold the phone. The lonely stoner, Mr. Solo Dolo. He's on the move, can't seem to shake the shade. Within his dreams, he sees the life he made. Made. The pain is deep. A silent sleeper, you won't hear a peep. peep. The girl he wants don't seem to want him to. It seems the feelings that she had her through, through. Cause day and night, the lonely stoner seems to free his mind at night. He's all alone through the day and night. The lonely loner seems to free his mind at night. 